Today we are watching Forrest Gump. I haven't seen this movie probably since 1995. I remember Jumbo Shrimp and Run Forrest Run. Tom Hanks won Best Actor. I think Semenkis won Best Director. It won Best Feature, Best Visual. <laughs> it's like, how far have we come? I just feel like I grew up with a lot of really amazing movies, but I've only seen this once. I, I Forrest Gump is definitely not like a repeat movie. Like I've seen certain movies over and over and over and over and over and over again, which are such weird ones, but haven't seen this one since I've first seen it. So I am excited to watch. This was a suggestion up on my Patreon. I do have my general support Patreon. Here is a link. You can hit it. And if you would like to support me so I can continue to make more reaction videos and get them out to you sooner, I would love and appreciate all or any support that you can offer. Helps my little channel grow. And all I want to do is watch movies with y'all. So <laughs> this is so weird. It is getting so hot in here. We need to eat. What? No, we need to watch. Oh my god. I guess I'm hungry. Okay, so Forrest Gump, roll tape. I need headphones. I need headphones, baby, 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 baby. I absolutely adore Sally Fields. Oh, didn't Gary, didn't he win for Best Supporting? But Robin Wright, I'd never seen, I don't even know what the movie's called right now. What's the one, Princess Bride? I didn't even know who she was when I saw this. All I knew is that she was absolutely stunning and beautiful and I just wanted to be her. <laughs> and that's probably why I love blonde hair because all of my favorite actresses growing up all had blonde hair and nobody looked like me until I saw Jennifer Lopez in Selena in 1995 or I think it was 95 when it came out. Oh yeah, a box is, life is like a box of chocolates, right? That's this movie. I wonder if this feather is what won best visual effects. But maybe it was because that one guy, doesn't he not have legs? I think this is probably really advanced for the time. 94, right? Because then we started getting into like Jurassic Park or I think that was 93. Oh, he's keeping it. Aw. Is it Curious George? Oh, it is Curious George. Tom Hanks. One of the greats. 1981. Looks about right with those Nike kicks. Hello, my name's Forrest, Forrest Gump. Do you want a chocolate? Nowadays people would be like, creep, stop talking to me. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> That's true. I bet you could walk all day in shoes like that and not feel a thing. <laughs> my feet hurt. She's like, I've worked all day. There's an awful lot you can tell about a person by their shoes. Where they have been. I've worn lots of shoes. Hmm. I bet if I think about it real hard, I could remember my first pair of shoes. She said they was my magic shoes. Oh, yeah. Let's take a little walk around. Ooh. His legs are strong, Miss Gump. As strong as I've ever seen. She has cerebral palsy? But we're gonna straighten him right up now, aren't we, Forrest? Oh, he got this, Forrest. Seemed to me after the great Civil War hero, General Nathan Bedford Forrest. Oh, looks just like him. He started up this club called the Ku Klux Klan. Oh, no. Sometimes we all do things that, well, just don't make no sense. Oh, we got stuck in the Greek. There you go. Thanks, Mama. Don't ever let anybody tell you they're better than you, Forrest. Mama always had a way of explaining things so I could understand them. <laughs> I love her. She's strong. From the town of Greenbow, Alabama. I'd love to go down and sit underneath those trees. Remember what I told you, Forrest. You're no different than anybody else is. Your boy's different. <laughs> <laughs> His IQ is 75. Oh. Forrest is right here oh he's only five points off i have to go to special school he might be a bit on the slow side but my boy forrest is gonna get the same opportunities as everyone else we're talking about five little points here that's what i said there must be something can be done let him in is that a mr gump oh creep he's on vacation <laughs> Oh no, she is sleeping with him to get him into school. Ew. I wouldn't do it. Not with him. You don't say much, do you? <laughs> I'm 
Mama, the... what's vacation mean? Oh, no. <laughs> I was curious, George Book. That's all vacation means. You come back. I guess you could say me and Mama was on our own. So many people staying with us that every room was filled with travelers. Oh, yeah, because it's the Gump Inn. Oh, Elvis? Show me that crazy little walk you just did there. <laughs> He gets his moves from Forrest Gump. I started moving around to the music. <laughs> Not for children's eyes. <laughs> He's like, well, they're my moves. You do your very best now, Forrest. I sure will, Mama. Yeah. I'm Forrest, Forrest Gump. Oh. I'm Dorothy Harry. Well, now we ain't strangers anymore. Oh, he's so sweet and polite. Like, like. Why is it always like this? Why are they always so mean to the kids that get on the bus? It's like every movie, every show. Can't see it here. I do remember the first time I heard the sweetest voice. You can sit here if you want. Aww. Oh. I had never seen anything so beautiful in my life. Mm, so cute. What's wrong with your legs? I'm nothing at all, thank you. My lips are just <laughs> fine and dandy. Thank you very much. Are you stupid or something? I'm as stupid as a stupid duck. <laughs> I'm Jenny. I'm Forrest, Forrest Gump. Jenny. We was always together. Jenny and me was like peas and carrots. Oh, God, they're adorable. She taught me how to climb. I showed her how to dangle. Oh, oh, what <laughs> a dangle. She helped me learn how to read. Huh? And I showed her how to swing. It's pretty cool. For some reason, Jenny didn't ever want to go home. My only friend. Oh. Like, I've been wanting to cry this whole time. God, is this how it's going to go? Miracles happen every day. <laughs> hey, dummy! Are you... <gasps> Forrest Gimp. No. God. Kids can be so cruel. Run, Forrest, run! Run, Forrest, run! Run, little buddy. The miracle. Look at him go. All for love. <laughs> he broke off the braces. Look at him go. Wow. Hard to believe those were holding him in at all. <laughs> Forrest Gump, breaker of braces. But I can run like the wind blows. From that day on, I was running. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, scaredy cats now. Whoa, look at him sprint. God, those trees are just absolutely stunning. Look at that field. He's like, I've never felt so light and fast. I just gotta keep going. Whoa, look at him pumping his arms. <laughs> How I told you that Jenny never seemed to want to go home. Her Aww. daddy was some kind of a farmer. He was always kissing and touching her and her sisters. Oh, yeah, no, 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 bueno. Oh, man. I can fly far, far, far away from here. Oh my gosh. Hey, Jenny didn't have to stay in that house no more. She went to live with her grandma. Oh, with her grandma. Which made me happy because she was so close. <gasps> Sleepover. Because <laughs> she said she was scared. I think it was her grandma's dog. I Maybe mean, she was me and the grandma. Jenny and me was best friends all the way up through high school. <gasps> Same old shenanigans. Run, Lord. In the truck, in the truck. Now punch him one. Run, Lord. Holy, what a leap. I ran to get where I was going. I never thought it would take me anywhere. <gasps> oh, sh shit. They almost ran him down there. <laughs> is that the scouts or the coach? Who in the hell is that? That last false gunk. <laughs> Just a local idiot. <laughs> No. I got to go to college too. On a scholarship for football. <laughs> I would have thought track, but. Run, run, run. <laughs> That's the play, you just run. Run and dodge. Look at him go. Oh my god. <laughs> Son of a bitch, run. Oh no, go the other way. Is he gonna know where to stop? <laughs> Ain't that the truth? It's just me, but college was very confusing times. Old troops enforcing a court order integrated the University of Alabama today. And they want to go to school with us. As they should. Well, here today, as federal oh. soldiers... 
He just saw the TV. University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa had been desegregated, had been signed up for summer classes. Oh, who's going to give the, her her book? Campus has kept the mob from gathering and... Hey, what in heck, Gump? The bus is here. Yeah, which bus are you waiting for, is Forrest? It's number nine? No, it's the number four. Bye, lady. And Wallace got shot. Oh, this lady's chatty. Jenny went to a college I couldn't go to. I'd go and visit her every chance I got. Oh. Oh. Oh, uh-oh. Is he in a Oh no. <laughs> oh, he is <laughs> He's beating him up. It's my friend. He's kind of like a brother. She doesn't know he's bad You blew it for her. I'm sorry. Oh. oh you can't be mad at him. Look at you. Oh, look at you. <laughs> you guys are both soaking wet. <gasps> oh. Risky. I want to be famous. Oh, really? I want to be a singer like Joe Biden. Oh, he's like, you're almost naked. Have you ever been with a girl, Forrest? Oh, I sit next to them in my home economics class all oh. the time. <laughs> I'm going to do you a favor tonight. Oh, no, but it, it's going to, he already loves you. Oh, oh, <gasps> oh no. I'm sorry. Oh, his face. <laughs> First base forest. Oop. Guess that's probably happened to a few of you. That never happened in home, <laughs> No. At least you can have a laugh. Oh. I ruined your roommate's bath, I didn't realize there was somebody in the bed. Go, forest. Gotta stop him. <laughs> College ran by real fast because I played so much football. Literally ran by fast. The All America team, where you get to meet the President of the United States. Oh, there he is. He drank way too much. Oh no, that's gotta be uncomfortable. I gotta pay. <laughs> I believe he said he had to go pay. I see the visual effects now and stuff that they've done, so that's really interesting. <gasps> Marilyn Monroe. Somebody shot that nice young president. That's so sad. You graduated. I love it. I got a college degree. Mama was so proud. She's probably so proud of him. I'm proud I could cry. Have you given any thought to your future? Thought? <laughs> I'm Forrest. Forrest Gump. How about give the husky shit who you are, plus ball? You're not even a low life scum sucking maggot. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Oh, frick, not this rigmarole again. Oh, yeah, the jumbo shrimp guy. Bubba, his name Bubba? Sit down if you want to. Oh. You ever been on a real shrimp boat? Just looking in the buying a boat of my own and got drafted. Oh. My given name is Benjamin Buford Blue. People call me Bubba. Yeah, that's what I remember. My name's Forrest Gump. People call me Forrest Gump. <laughs> Bubba's family knew everything there was to know about the shrimping business. And the shrimping business for myself after I get out the army. Girl, what's your sole purpose in this army? To do whatever you tell me, drill sergeant. <laughs> He's like so good for the army. It's like not phased. That's the most outstanding answer I've ever heard. You must have a goddamn <laughs> IQ of 160. No, actually, it's 75. Now, for some reason, I fit in the army like one of them round pegs. Yeah, because you just listen. Always answer every question with, yes, drill sergeant. <laughs> yes, yes, drill sergeant! sergeant! He loves the shrimp business. Done, drill sergeant! He's like a savant. Jesus H. Christ. This is a new company record. You are going to be a general someday, go. Now, that's how simple your weapon and continue. Yes, sir. Shrimp is the fruit of the sea. You can barbecue it, boil it, brawl it. Shrimp soup, shrimp <laughs> stew. Shrimp. I've never had a shrimp burger or a shrimp sandwich. Time in the army is a lonely time, and I'd miss my mama. Aw, Jenny. I'd miss Jenny. Yeah. The jerk off book. <gasps> Jenny. Oh, she wants to be famous, but she got swindled down that road. And offered Jenny a job singing in a show. All right, so it's working out for her. Took the bus up to Memphis to see her perform in that show. Oh no, I hope she's just gonna sing. Direct from Hollywood, California. Luscious Bobby Dylan. Oh. How many rooms 
she's pretty good. She was a folk singer. She's got a Bridget Bardot thing going on. Oh, oh, hey, oh, stupid jerk! Yeah, you go get him, Forrest. <laughs> Forrest is just always there to protect her. Forrest, what are you doing here? Hey, what what you, just, you can't keep doing this all the time. I can't help it. I love you. <gasps> you don't know what love is. Yes, he does. Come on. You think I could fly off this bridge? No. No, 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 no. What do you mean, Jenny? Don't talk like that, Jenny. Force you stay away from me, just, okay? You no. just stay away from me. Bye bye, Jenny. They sent me to Vietnam. <gasps> oh no, you can't have a goodbye like this, Jenny. Can you promise me something, okay? Just if you're ever in trouble, don't try to be brave. You just run, okay? I write you all the time. Just like that, she was gone. He's gonna write her all the time. God, she doesn't deserve you, Forrest. You're too good to her. Oh no, now you have to say bye to your mom. Come back safe to me. Oh, hold on a sec, you guys. Yeah, you come back safe, Forrest. Frickin' love CCR. Now they told us that Vietnam was gonna be very different. Just a little. For all the beer cans and the barbecue. Oh. <laughs> Man of war, eh? Morning, sir! Oh, get your hands down. Do not salute me. I'm Lieutenant Dan Taylor. Welcome to Fort Platoon. Is he the one that won the Best Supporting Actor? I was born with big guns, sir. Yeah, well, you better tuck that in and get that caught on a tripwire. Oh, God. No. Where are you boys from in the world? Alabama, sir. You twins? <laughs> no, we are not relations, sir. Try and keep your feet dry. Even wet feet hiking sucks, so. Lieutenant Dan sure knew his stuff. Somebody in his family had fought and died in every single American war. No, I don't want him to die. I don't think he dies, though. Oh, he's in the pooper. Try not to do anything stupid like getting yourself killed. <laughs> no, thank you. We want to stay alive over here. I sure hope I don't let him down. <laughs> It wasn't always fun. Lieutenant Dan was always getting these funny feelings, so he'd tell us to get down, shut up. Lieutenant Dan, man. Forrest is right. It's probably not always fun because fucking shooting people and stuff. It's like landmines and stuff too, right? But I think some of America's best young men served in this war. Yeah, check out that hole. <laughs> it just sends them into the hole. They had a lot of shooting locations in this movie. And it didn't quit for four months. Sounds like the Pacific Northwest. I'm sure monsoon season is worse, but we get a lot of rain. I'm gonna lean up against you. You just lean right back against me. Oh, that's so smart. How would you like to go into the shrimping business with me? <sighs> okay. I got it all figured out too. We can just live right on the boat. Oh, that's smart. Get together, split everything right down the middle. I love their friendship. I was doing it. Ask her what she was doing. And she probably never writes you back because she doesn't care about you, Forrest. Oh, look at her style. Hippie. Oh, VW van. Nice. Living that hippie life. I didn't realize that I signed up for like an awesome soundtrack today. Oh, yeah. No, why do they do that with a grooving song and then they bomb them? No, man down. Not the fourth platoon getting attacked here. Honestly, people are so brave to go to war. Bubba, run Forrest, run. Run like Bubba and Jenny told you. I ran and ran just like Jenny told me to. So scary. Pretty soon, I was all by myself, which was a bad thing. Bubba. Lost your buddies. <gasps> Go back for Bubba. Bubba was my best good friend. I had to make sure that he was okay. Oh, you're brave, Forrest. You're so brave. I wouldn't want to be out there by myself. What the frick do you do? I guess you have to go find like another platoon. Tex. <gasps> Couldn't just let him lay there all alone and scared the way he was. And run him out of there. Gonna grab everybody. <gasps> God, Forrest, you're just so strong and fast and brave. Every time I went back looking for Bubba, somebody else was saying, help me, Forrest, help me. Oh my God, he's saving the whole fucking platoon, man. They're all been banged up pretty bad. 
Harry, I gotta have those fast movers in oh, here yeah, now. Oh yeah, because doesn't he lose his legs or is that this guy? Leave me here. Get away. Just leave me here. Get out. Oh, he's trying to save you. Be advised, your fast movers are inbound at this time. Over. Oh shit. Lieutenant Dan is one tough motherfucker. Do they have the choppers coming for them? Where the hell you think you're going? Get bomb. Oh, the choppers are coming to bomb the whole area. Yeah, he's got to go back for him. Where are you, Bubba? <gasps> okay, pours. No, no, no. I thought Bubba survives. Bubba, no. No, we'll be all right. Oh, no. Oh, no, they're getting bombed. They're getting bombed. Literally run, Forrest, run faster than you've ever ran before. <gasps> Hi, Bubba. Hi, Forrest. <gasps> oh, no, but that's just you two. You got shot. Oh. Then Bubba said something I won't ever forget. I wanna go home. Bubba was gonna be a shrimp and buck captain, but instead he died right there by that rhythm of that now. Oh, he deserved better, Bubba. I thought Bubba survived. Oh, now he's talking to a different guy. I jumped up and bit you. Oh. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, he got shot. He didn't get uh, bit. A million dollar wound, but the army must keep that money because I still ain't seen a nickel that million dollars. I think it's just a saying. The thing about being wounded in the buttocks is the ice cream. And guess what? A good friend of mine was in the bed right next door. Oh, Lieutenant Dan. Oh, he is depressed. Honestly, so much love out to the veterans. They need respect and help and whatever they need because I don't know how you can come back from wars like this. <gasps> oh, oh, man. What a good lieutenant, though. Oh, they got returned. She didn't get any of the letters. Are you going to keep those for her? <laughs> Still sitting on a donut or a pillow and eating his ice cream. Never, ever. Take your eye off the ball. He's like so perfect for this. For some oh, the reason, doors, ping yes. Pong came very natural to me. Because you're an athlete, buddy. Oh, I started playing it all the time. Landed, oh my God, into the pee pan. <laughs> oh, they're going through all the freaking greatest hits of the doors. Lieutenant Dan, he just wanted to be left out there. He's like sleeping with his paddle. <gasps> I should have died out there with my men. I'm nothing but a goddamn simple. Do you know what it's like not to be able to use your legs? I do, actually. Well, yes, sir, I do. I had a destiny. I was supposed to die in the field. No, maybe this is your destiny. Grief, man. This is, would be rough. Imagine. I could never imagine not having legs. Like, it'd be so hard. But this is the greater destiny for you. This wasn't supposed to happen. Not to me. Maybe it was. Maybe you're supposed to break the family line history. I was Lieutenant Dan Taylor. Still are. It'd be so freaking hard. You still Lieutenant Dan. Yeah, you still are. Oh, you're so strong. Lieutenant Dan. What am I gonna do now? Yes, sir! <laughs> You've been awarded the Medal of Honor. <gasps> they wanna give me a... Where, where is Lieutenant Dan? What'd they do with Lieutenant Dan? They send him home. <gasps> oh, yeah, because... Two weeks later, I left Vietnam. They all got sent home. So much love to the veterans, man. Four medals of honor to men from each of the armed services. America owes you a debt of gratitude, oh. son. Mom, you're just so proud again. Where were you hit? In the butt talk, In the son. ass. <laughs> In the butt talk, sir. I'd like to see that. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> he wanted to see it. Oh, damn, son. Hey. You're a good man for doing this. What is he doing? It was this man giving a little talk. And every time he said the F word, 
people for some reason, well, they cheer. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the war, man. Yeah, a lot of people didn't want them in there, right? The draft would have been so crazy, too. Like, just so many people had to go that didn't want to go. Well, there was only one thing I could say about the war in Vietnam. What is he going to say? Oh, no, this guy. How are you talking to me? this goddamn boy! <laughs> yeah, yeah, unplug the sound system. What was Forrest going to say? That's all I have to say. Oh no. Oh no. They missed it all. They're like, what? We didn't hear you. You got unplugged. That's the right on hand. You said it all. Oh, only hear he heard him. Oh, it's Jenny. Jenny! Hey! Oh. The crowd goes wild. It was the happiest moment of my life. <laughs> she showed me around and even introduced me to some of her new friends. Didn't she just like use him though? Get your white ass away <gasps> from that window. Don't you know we in a war here? Oh, these are the uh, Black Panthers. Oh, is that her boyfriend? We are against any war where black soldiers are sent to the front line to die for a country that uh -huh. hates the and imperial dog. Uh-oh, but she doesn't want him saving her. But he's gonna save her. He's, like, programmed in. This guy does not deserve Jenny. <laughs> well, he shouldn't be hitting a lady. Watch you here. I should have known it was just gonna be some bullshit hassle. Get out of here. Oh, they're getting kicked out. Sorry I had a fight in the middle of your Black Panther party. Oh. Oh, Forrest. I would never hurt you, Jenny. I know you wouldn't, Forrest. Well, no one should hurt anyone. I wanted like to that. be your boyfriend. What are you too good for Forrest, Jenny? Jenny, aren't you happy that he made it home safe and he didn't die? God, and he got a Medal of Honor. You should be proud of him. It was a very special night for the two of us. It sounds special, Forrest. What is she going to do now? Go back to that loser, Lahu Zaher. Jenny? No. No, don't go back to this loser. Well, you did. You know what I think? You should go home to Greenbow, Alabama! <laughs> Get out of here, buddy. Was his name Gary? I can't remember. We have very different labs, you know. They don't have to be different. Don't you dare give her your medal. Don't you dare. I got it. Just by doing what you told me to do. Oh. Why are you so good to me? Doesn't deserve you. I'll always oh. be your girl. Will you, though? Don't go breaking his heart, for fuck's sakes. Nice guys always finish last, and they shouldn't. No, this guy. I don't like him. Yeah, a glaring contest. Let's see who's going to win. Girl, you crazy. And just like that, she was gone out of my life again. I was going back to Vietnam, but instead they decided the best way for me to fight the communists was to play ping pong. He must have learned how to do this. Unless this is the visual effects. Look at him go. When I got home, I was a national celebrity. <laughs> here he is, Forrest Gump, right here. <laughs> For Forrest Gump, right here. <laughs> oh, he's so awkward. Forrest Gump, John Lennon. Wow. Okay, I can see why they won visual effects. People hardly got nothing at all. No possessions? Like his song. Hard to imagine. Well, it's easy if you try, Dick. <laughs> Somebody shot, you know. Uh, it's just like all these frickin' assassinations are just so tragic. Now that's what you're <gasps> dying. It is. Yes, sir. They gave you the Congressional Medal of Honor. Oh, he's pissed. They gave you an imbecile who goes on television and makes a fool out of himself the Congressional Medal of Honor. He wanted to see it. Yeah, well, I just got one thing to say to that. God damn bless America. Oh, no, it's so icy. Well, run, Forrest, and get him. What do you do here in New York, Lieutenant Dan? I'm living off the government tip. <laughs> I'm walking here! Ah, oh, get out! <laughs> I'm walking here! Yes, you are, sir. 
I stayed with Lieutenant Dan and celebrated the holidays. Have you found Jesus yet? No. I didn't know I was supposed to be looking for him, sir. At least you can get a laugh, Lieutenant Dan. Have I found Jesus? It'd be so hard. I feel you, Lieutenant Dan. Now, if I accept Jesus into my heart, I'll get to walk beside him in the kingdom of heaven. Walk? Kiss my crippled ass. God is listening. I'm going to heaven, Lieutenant Dan. Before you go, why don't you get your ass down to the corner and get us another bottle of Rick? Yes, sir. Oh, man. The drinking, though, right? Like, to numb the pain and... I gotta buy me one of them shrimp bucks as soon as I have some money. I made me a promise to Bubba in Vietnam. Yeah, he promised. Promise is a promise, Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> promise is a promise is a promise. Don't laugh. The day that you are a shrimp boat captain, I will come and be your first mate. That's right. Doesn't he go down to the boat? Yeah, Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels. Who's your friend? Hot Wheels. Oh, no. But in the middle of all that fun, I began to think about Jenny. Oh, no, Jenny. She's trying to get out of here. Oh, bruise on her eye. Oh, no. Is he going to lose his virginity to one of these sex workers? Get it, Dan. It's a new year. You can start over. Sorry for my annoying optimism. Well, at least Lieutenant Dan is having a good time. Oh. Aggressive. What did you say? Don't call him stupid! Don't call him that. Yeah, don't call him that. Don't ever call him stupid! He's sticking up for him. Get out of here! Look at you freak! Don't say that about him. That's why he works at his arms. He gets really strong. I'm sorry I ruined your New Year's Eve party, Lieutenant Diane. She tastes like cigarettes. Oh yeah, he just wasn't into it. He didn't want to be called crippled. Just like I didn't want to be called stupid. Yeah, oh my gosh. That's so true. Happy New Year, Gump. A few months later, they invited me and the ping pong team to visit the White House. Again. And I met the President of the United States again. President Nixon. Yeah, sir. You might want to send a maintenance man over to that office across the way. The lights are <gasps> He's seeing Watergate, an accidental charmed life. I shall resign the presidency effective at noon tomorrow. It's just so funny how you worked everything into this script. I love it. There's so many things that I forgot. I have your discharge papers. Service is up, son. <gasps> wow. Does this mean I can't play ping pong no more? For the army it does. But you can still play, but now you can go get your boat, right? So I went home. Run, Forrest. Oh. Oh, I, I can totally see why they also won Best Makeup. I think they won an Oscar for Best Makeup for this and hair. They've done a lot of awesome aging up. Look at Sally Field. Everybody wants you to use their ping pong stuff. <gasps> Sponsorships. dollars if you'd be agreeable to saying you like using their paddle. You can get your boat. I'd made a promise to Bubba, and I always try to keep my promise. What a great soul you are, Forrest Gump. And of course, I paid my respect to Bubba himself. Bubba. Are you stupid or something? Stupid is, stupid does, sir. <laughs> the brand new shrimp and boat. And then Lieutenant Dan has to come down and be his first captain. Give him some purpose in life. Forest. He just gets so good at everything he does. He just puts his mind to it. Shrimping is tough. Hard as hell. <gasps> he caught one. A couple of more, you could have yourself a cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> boat is back. Little Look Joker. A boat a name. <gasps> Gotta name the boat. Oh, Jenny. My canoe's name is Obi Wan Kenobi. We almost did paddle one, but oh no, we're going into like 70s. Oh no, Jenny, you're doing them drugs. Oh no, don't get into trouble, Jenny. And I hope that whatever she was doing made her happy. Oh no, is she doing heroin? No, wrong crew. She's still with this guy? Or is it a new guy? Different guy. Please tell me she wasn't doing heroin. Oh yeah, she looks rough. Don't, don't you dare jump. 
Yeah, she's had a rough life. She had a really hard life. But no. Oh my god, I don't remember. Does Jenny jump? <gasps> oh, thank god, Jenny. Thank god. I know you've had a hard life, but you... You can get help and you can be around good people. Oh no, Jenny, Jenny. Oh man, if you're struggling out there, guys, like just ask for help. There's people to help. I'm so happy you're alive. Oh my God. I thought about Jenny all the time. Yeah, and Jenny needs you. She needs you more than she thinks she needs you. <gasps> yeah, Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> Oh my god, Forrest, you're so silly. What, what are you gonna do about your boat? You gotta love him. What are you doing here? Thought I'd try out my sea legs. <laughs> you got no legs, Lieutenant Dan. You're looking good, Lieutenant Dan. I told you if you were ever a shrimp boat captain, <gasps> that I'd be your first mate. You kept your promise, too. You are a man of your word. Don't you be thinking that I'm gonna be calling you sir. Uh oh. The boat. Oops. Take a left! Left! <laughs> Are you sure he's not the captain? If I know shrimp, my boy! <laughs> nope. Well, maybe you should just pray for shrimp. Maybe you should pray. Maybe it'll work. You're not praying hard enough. <laughs> oh, nice. Rigged him up a really cool thing. Where the hell's this God of yours? It's funny Lieutenant Dan said that, because right then, God showed up. Or did Bubba show up? Whoa, this is a crazy storm. He's like, bring it on. I've seen a storm before. Biola Battery's entire shrimping industry has fallen victim to Carmen. Are they the only boat left out there? In fact, only one shrimping boat actually survived the storm. After that, shrimping was easy. <gasps> Shit. Bubba got shrimps what they got. Bubba Gump shrimp. Are you telling me you're the owner of the Bubba Gump Shrimp Corporation? Yes, sir. We got more money than David Crockett. <laughs> Boy, I heard some bumpers in my time, but that tops them all. He's like, I am. That's him right there. <gasps> Fortune Magazine, Bubba Gump Shrimp. I never thanked you for saving my life. <laughs> oh, man. You've been through so much. He never actually said so. He never actually said thank you. He made his peace with God. I'm so happy for you, Lieutenant Dan. He is indisposed at the moment. <laughs> oh no, she's getting old. He's gonna swim to shore. What a dive. I've always wanted to learn how to dive like that. I grew up like basically like a quick bike ride to a lake and I never could jump off a dock like that. I don't know why I couldn't do it. <laughs> Forced. I want a Bubba Gump shrimp hat. We sure got you straightened out, didn't we, boy? You always said he had the strong legs. I'm dying, Forrest. Oh, he probably didn't think that this day was going to come. He never, probably never thought about it. Oh, Why are you dying, It's boy? rough losing people you love. It's my time. She'll explain it to him real nice. Death is just a part of life, but I was destined to be your mama. Oh. I did the best I could. You did good, mom. You have to do the best with what God gave you. Life is a box of chocolates, Forrest. You never know what you're gonna get. I will miss you, Forrest. Your mama raised you right. Believe in yourself. Now because I've been a football star and a war hero and national celebrity and a shrimp and boat cap. <laughs> He's a crazy resume. Oh, I, I never got <laughs> to work for Lieutenant Diane. Though he did take care of my Bubba Gump money. Apple Fruit Company. Lieutenant Dan. He invested well. Even though Bubba was dead, I gave Bubba's mama Bubba share. <gasps> oh, yeah. <laughs> You're a good soul, Forrest. Cut that grass for free. Oh. I'd always think of Jenny. Does Jenny come back to you in the end? <gasps> Is this... Is he just imagining this? <gasps> yeah. Whew. The one thing he just never worked out for him. He just loved her so much. And she said he didn't know what love was. He knows what love is. And he makes promises and he keeps them. 
I've never cut grass with one of those things. I've always just done the push ones with gas. I literally was my first job when I was like 12 or 11. I had to cut grass at some complex my dad owned or something and he never paid me for it. But I really liked cutting grass too. Jenny. She was there. She came home. Hope you detox and you're doing better now. Just left that life. You didn't need that life. <gasps> he can't believe it. Hello, Forrest. Hello, Jenny. Took your whole life to realize that he's a good guy. Jenny came back and stayed with me. Maybe it was because she had nowhere else to go. Slept and slept. Like she hadn't slept in years. Yeah, she probably hasn't. She's gonna be at peace. What? Her house? What does she see? Oh God, the bad memories. Gosh, she probably hates her father so much. What happened to her sisters? Sometimes I guess there just aren't enough rocks. I never really knew why she came back. I'd pick pretty flowers and put them in a room for her. <laughs> You're so sweet, Forrest. The best gift anyone could ever get in the wide world. Ooh, those were his sh his Nikes when he's sitting at the bus stop. You got your own moves, though. You taught Elvis. And it was the happiest time of my life. Wait, things were flooding back to my memory. Does she get sick? Oh, no. If she was doing heroin, did she get AIDS? Is that what happens? I can't remember. I hope that doesn't happen. I hope that's a different movie. Will you marry me? <gasps> I'd make a good husband, Jenny. You don't want to marry me. Why? Why don't you love me, Jenny? Don't self-sabotage. He's a good man. I'm not a smart man, but I know what love is. <gasps> See? He does. Oh, he's upset. Look at how well he's done for himself. He's done so well. He's been to war. He's like an athlete. He's literally checking all the boxes. He leaves you roses. He takes care of you. He protects you. Like, check, check, check. Forrest, I do love you. Stop teasing him. I do love you, but what? <gasps> Don't you dare leave. How dare you? Jenny. She just doesn't think she deserves a good guy. I'm not running. You're running. Oh, damn it, Jenny. Did she leave the medal? Oh, God, he's going to be so heartbroken. Oh, no, now his heart is going to be so broken, and he's going to have nobody there for him. He's so lonely. Poor little soul. I just wish you could find a lady that loved you, Forrest, for who you were, because that's what you deserve. Is he gonna go for a run? I decided to go for a little run. <laughs> it's like literally a three minute or even a two and a half minute kilometer pace. <laughs> Just run across Greenbow County. Who are you, Terry Fox? Santa Monica? Oh my God. He just cut his pants off. Might as well turn around. Just keep on going. Literally run, forest run. Talk about therapy, right? Coast to coast, baby. People who don't know, Terry Fox was a Canadian and he ran across Canada. He had cancer and he had an amputated leg. I don't think he made it the whole way. Just so amazing what he did. Like you guys should watch videos. It's like I could cry just thinking about it. It's just incredible what he did and what he did for children and stuff. Oh, Jenny. Gardner from Greenbow, Alabama. I just felt like running. You're an inspiration, Forrest Gump. Gave people hope. Runner's high. <laughs> I'm in the bumper sticker business. Whoa, man, you just ran through a big pile of dog shit. <laughs> it happens. What, shit? Oh, shit happens. That's the slogan. Oh. Have a nice day. No. I forgot about all these things that they worked into the script. You got to put the past behind you. And I think that's what my running was all about. Yeah, therapy. Three years. What? Everyone's like, what? I'm pretty tired. <laughs> He's done. I I'll go home now. What are they going to do without you? Now what are we supposed to do? Keep running. My running days was over. That was a long time to run so i don't blame you a letter from jenny wondering if i could <gasps> come down to savannah oh you know 
need to take a bus. <gasps> I was six blocks. He's been sitting here all day talking to these people waiting for number nine bus, and he could just walk. For it. It was nice talking to you. He's running again. Hey! <gasps> oh, she looks so 80s. She looks like she's doing better. Thank you. Hi, Tom. <gasps> Oh yeah, he did eat some. I was like, did he eat some of those? I kept scrapbook of your of your clippings and Runner's World. Listen, Forrest, I don't know how to say this. Um What? I wanna apologize for anything that I ever did to you because I was messed up. Oh. Yoo-hoo! <gasps> That's his baby, isn't it? Oh, it's this kid, the sixth sense kid. Such a good mom. It's his kid, isn't his it? His name's Forrest. <gasps> I named him after his daddy. I totally forgot. You're his daddy, Forrest. His one night stand did it all. He's an athlete. He's got some super strength. You know what? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Like, why didn't you tell him sooner? You didn't do anything wrong. But maybe he wants to be a dad. It's so the cute. most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Is he smart? He's very smart. He's one of the smartest in his class. <sighs> oh, God. He's watching Sesame Street. That totally fucking broke my heart. My God. What are you guys going to do now? I'm sick. <gasps> she is sick. I did remember it. The doctors don't. They don't know what it is, and there isn't anything they can do about it. Oh, so I did remember this right. It did come back to me. You can come home with me. I'll take care of you if you're sick. <gasps> oh, Forrest. Would you marry you're me? too good. <gasps> okay. Oh, man. Oh, she looks so beautiful. He's so happy. I can tell. This movie right now, I can't. I honestly can't. Oh, fuck. I have like too much happiness contained and sadness all in one. You got new legs. Is that his wife? Custom made. Oh, Titanium alloy. Yay. It's my fiance, Susan. Oh. Honestly, think I'm gonna like combust right now. God, I wonder why this is probably like one of the, what, top 100 movies of all time. Whatever happened to this kid actor? Is he still acting? Are you scared in Vietnam? Yes. Look at his way of thinking. It's just so inspiring. Look at his life he's had. Such a beautiful life and it's so simple and beautiful. I couldn't tell where heaven stopped and the earth began. I wish I could have been there with you. You were. <laughs> what a fucking beautiful thing to say to her. I love you. I had you placed here under our tree. His heart, his poor heart. Out so your father bulldozed to the ground. Look at this man's heart. Oh, what a sweet father. Look at him, he's so little. Oh, <laughs> look at their heads, like father, like son. <laughs> and every night we read a book. She's so smart, Jenny. Here, wrote you a, a letter. No, I, I don't think I can handle it. I'm not supposed to, so I just okay. leave it here for you. It's, like, it's the point of wearing makeup sometimes to watch movies. Yeah, for each have a destiny. Who knows? It's both. I miss you, Jenny. Oh, you spent a lot of your life away from her. Oh, Forrest, you're so sweet. That tree is so unbelievably beautiful. Like you, Forrest. Like you, Jenny. That was such a special movie, and it's probably her spirit. <laughs> I believe in stuff like there's that. Bus. I hope there's no big meanies on this bus. <gasps> the feather, the feather fall out. Hey, Forrest, don't. 
I want to tell you I love you. I love you too, Daddy. Oh, God. I'll be right here when you get back. <laughs> Same lady. Of course, the name of Dorothy here is Nine Force Gump. <laughs> Little polite, just like your dad. There's more houses now. Look at all the mailboxes. I need to go play some Zelda after this because I am freaking an emotional wreck. You forget about the feather that fell out that you had. Freaking love when movies do that. I didn't remember how they ended this movie. I was like, how are they going to end this freaking beautiful movie? It's such a powerful message. So many powerful messages in this. Wow. I know that Forrest Gump is one of one of the top uh, 100 movies on like IMDb and probably a lot of the the lists. That movie's like high 90s for me. Like that's like almost a perfect movie. It's amazing. I just love the messages in that movie. Like you just you got this life and you just gotta appreciate what you have. Okay, and that wraps up my reaction to Forrest Gump, a movie that I have seen, but I haven't seen in decades. I haven't seen that movie since I was a young kid. I did have some moments where I remembered or things came back to me, but still, what a journey with so many laughs and tears. This movie has once again touched my heart and left such a lasting impression on me. It's one thing that I love so much about starting this reaction channel and this YouTube channel is I love so movies so much and a lot of these movies shaped me in how I wanted to become an actor and my dream of writing and directing one day, which I need to probably work a little bit harder towards that because I really focus most of my time on acting. This is such a masterpiece in writing and directing and storytelling. It was able to blend comedy and a love story and such a powerful message about life's unpredictability. I love how it intertwined a bunch of um, historical moments in time, but like Forrest Gump just ended up being there and that was such a fun way to tell a story. The performance from Tom Hanks was outstanding. No wonder why he won an Oscar for this. He just had this unwavering loyalty to his family and his friends and the people that he loved. Like, how many people do you know that can keep a promise like that? And like the ones that he kept? Like that, what a gem. I just feel like he makes us all feel so much connected. Like we can all relate to him. This has definitely like been super thought provoking. It's made me think a lot in this little two hours of time. Forrest Gump is like, he's so inspirational and he's like encouraging me to embrace the uncertainty of life. Cause life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. And he's just so kind. Like, just be kind, you know? It's so important. Just be kind to others. Jesus, crying again. Thank you so much. Okay, wait, I need to just chill. I need to chill the fuck out right now. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my reaction. And I, I'm so happy you were here to watch this with me. I thank you for any support you show on the channel. Don't forget to sub and hit that like. Until next time, keep exploring the world of cinema, okay? Watch the movies you haven't seen in a while. Watch the greats. Watch a movie that you would never watch before or your, something that's like out of your comfort zone or out of your style, okay? You never know what can open your mind or your eyes to some other experience. Keep embracing the beauty of life. Ciao. <laughs>